Hello everyone, Charlie Craddeville here with New Brunswick Today alongside one of the two candidates for mayor of Perth Amboy in Tuesday's runoff election, uh, Helen Kaba. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Kaba. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, opportunity, John. Of course. And so, uh, right off the bat, tell people why you're running. You're already on the council. You want the top job in the city. What, what would you do differently than uh, the current mayor? Accountability and enforcement. That's what's lacking in this administration. And everyone knows it, everyone feels it, and that's why people want change. And that's what I will bring to the table. Currently, I'm a councilman, I'm also the Democratic chair in the city of Perth Amboy. And in a previous interview, um, I mentioned that I have more experience, polit political experience, than the last couple of mayors. And it's very true. No one could debate that. In 2008, when Wilda Diaz became the mayor, when she first ran for mayor, she was only a bank teller. She didn't have any political experience. Not only political experience, she didn't have any community service at all. I've been councilman for four years, so I have gained a lot of knowledge as far as city government, and I have been, uh, and I'm also the Democratic chair. So, no, um, I, I, I got some criticism in regards to that, right? Uh, because people were misrepresenting what I said. I'm not saying I have more experience than she does. Obviously not. She's been the mayor for 12 years, right? I was comparing to when we first, when she first ran, to now when I, this is my first time running for mayor. So. Uh, but going back to your question, uh, yes, people want change because they're, it, 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 we have that feeling like in 2008 when the entire community wanted change. Kind of overthrew the, uh, the establishment. Right, overthrew the establishment, which uh, was a hell of a machine, as we all know. Right? Perth Amboy is in the same state of mind right now. If, if you go down our roads, it's horrible, right? As far as quality of life, it's horrible. There's, people are not being held accountable for their action. And that goes for uh, a lot of slumlords. We have a lot of slumlords in, in Perth Amboy, and we need to make sure we put an end to that. So uh, this year is the first year that there's going to be a runoff right. in a long time for a damn boy. Um, used to be whoever gets the most votes in the, uh, the, the general election wins, but now there's a new system where if no one gets 50% or more, you go on to a second round, you made it to the second round. Tell me about that change. Do you, do you uh, support having the runoffs? Uh, and why, why do you think Perth Amboy made that change? Absolutely. Well, one thing we have to make clear, right, that uh, the administration won't tell you, or the misinformation they're putting out there, is that the city council made that change. That's not true. Put it on the ballot. It, it was, right. It was a referendum. The voters of Perth Amboy, uh, two to one favor, voted for that 50 plus one because they understood that, you know what, it's time for change and the only way to make it possible is with that 50 plus one because people were already saying they were tired of the splitting of the votes. So with this, now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Really, it's a binary choice. So well, now the, the citizens of Perth Amboy have a choice whether they want to vote for the same or vote for change, something new, something more inspiring, something that gives them more hope. And so uh, you're here today because uh, uh, you had a, a little gathering of union folks that are supporting your campaign. Correct. I, I, met, I heard you mention you're in a union. Yes. Can you tell folks what union you're in and what your feelings are about the union movement are? Sure. Uh, I'm a union member. I, I work at Perth Amboy High School, so I'm an AFT uh, union member. And uh, yes, uh, I'm a labor candidate, and I support unions. 
And not to say that uh, I'm making any promises with unions, but you know what? I feel unions should have a seat on the table, right? Because unions work for the working class, and that's very important. It's very important to to make sure that people have job security, job security, and competitive wages. So I support unions absolutely. And uh, also, you're, you mentioned you're the chair of the Democratic organization here in Perth, Amboy. Correct. Um, you know, I know that uh, uh, change was made last year to extend the terms of the committee members and uh, going forward to change those terms to four-year terms instead of two-year terms. Did you support that change? And, and you know, what are your views on democracy uh, uh, at this time? I do support that change. But I know the stance of some people that uh, <clears throat> they, they, they feel that uh, it should have been more. Uh, I'm sorry, people did vote, right, for it. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, due to the pandemic and so on, uh, some people question the process, right? That it should have been. Uh, you know, uh, it should have been a different way to to uh, to vote for that to, to make sure that as many people as possible do vote. But you know as I understand it, it was a great turnout. It was a great turnout, uh, it, especially considering the pandemic and so on. Uh, I don't have the, the exact numbers, but uh, I do recall that um, it was over 700 uh, committee uh, members that voted. So uh, yeah, but what do you say to like the voters who say, "Well, I only approved a two-year term for my committee person. And maybe I wanted to run again, you know, next year, or, or, or support someone else in two years." Uh, is that fair to the voters to to just in the middle of a term double the length and extend it to be a four-year term instead of a two-year term? Well, the, the great thing about uh, democracy in, in, in the United States, that uh, just like the referendum was put on for the 50 plus one, I believe something similar, uh, if, if there's enough uh, opposition to what just uh, occurred, I believe that people have the right to bring it back to the table and see how it goes. You know, so you think, would support a referendum on that topic? If that's what the people want, why not? Cool. Well, uh, before we part ways, is there any you know uh, message you want to say to uh, any of our, our viewers who might be in Perth Amboy undecided on who they're going to vote for on Tuesday? What's your, your message to them? The message to them is simple: that when a runoff election, right, a lot of people still are not aware that there's a, a runoff election, but um, the choice is clear. It's a binary choice: you either vote for the same or vote for change. If you're tired, if you feel you, we deserve better as far as quality of life, our taxes are just too much for the services that we receive in return, then you know what? Vote for change. Vote for line A, vote for team cop. And uh, God willing, change will occur. Change is coming. Believe me, change is coming. Thank you very much. Guys. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. God Appreciate bless. It. Good luck.